welcome to Dallas Sports. Absolutely freezing, windy, it's been raining, it's been snowing, the grass is wet, it's soggy, the rugby ball is slippery, it's wet. Okay, I thought I'm gonna make a quick video while it's like this to show you when the ball is really slippery like a bar of soap, what to do. People expect you to have the good service in whatever conditions, whether it's windy, like I said, whether it's really difficult. And they don't always understand and appreciate playing strum off to be able to execute a good pass. I'm gonna be running and passing, and then I'll talk about it. Let's see how we get on. So, to start with, I've got two balls, rugby balls on this side and two on that side. I'm gonna be running, Keeping my eye on the target, passing from here to there. First, first receiver, okay, and then I'm going to run back. First, ball here, going here, I'm going to pass the ball to the first receiver. Okay, so it's fitness, running around, passing the ball, attacking the ball from the side. Okay. Keep in mind the ball is really slippery because I've wet the ball. It's it's muddy as you can see. Come on, have a look. See that? See that? It's really, really wet. And this is what most pitches are like, especially at grassroots level. So let's see how we get on. Right, about this way, that way. Because I'm running fast, I'm passing fast, and I didn't hit any of the targets. My foot's giving way, my planting foot, as I'm passing the ball. And it's causing me to be really tense. Let's talk about what we should do. Like I said, this is a drill you can use for fitness, but like it's a good way when the grass is really heavy. What's happening is with the ball. Okay, obviously I'm going that way. Press down on the ball. I always said, spread your fingers, fingertips, press on the ball. From there, scoop the ball, good balance. Right? Someone once told me, if you let the veins, your hands be heavy, and let the veins pop out, so the blood's running to your hands, that's what you need to be doing in weather that's really, really bad when it's raining. You can't be hard, tense on the ball and pass. Relax your forearms when you're running. When you get to the ball, it's a nice firm grip. Firm grip, okay, from here to there. Let's see if it works. target now I'll be thinking okay what can I do to make it better I've tried my hands relaxed my arms relaxed get a good grip it's not too tense and I'm hitting the target close by if you're a nine pick the ball up when your forwards run off you okay and get it in the passing position and you can make good decisions as you know if it's a first receiver like the fly off and he wants a quick ball try not to pick it up so get your chest over the ball that's what i'm going to do i'm going to bring this in where my hands is nice and relaxed i've got a good grip fingertips on the ball but now i'm going to apply more pressure by sinking the hips and get my chest over the ball and then i'm going to fire through let's see if that makes a difference remember 
It's not as easy as people think. Appreciate it when you hit targets. Don't be too hard on yourself. The idea is we want consistency. Fail and fail and fail again. Fix fast, learn fast. Let's go. guys we're going to when we run instead of passing this angle we're gonna turn we're going to turn okay to mix it up a bit so running instead of stepping and passing this angle say this again I'll run around and this time I'm gonna turn my back and pass pick the ball up a bit Okay, let's have a look. Go. Again, arms relax. This was a bit drier. I'm so confident I'll be hitting those targets, but I'm telling you, because it's so difficult, it fits as heavy where I'm at. It's so difficult. It takes it's exhausting. It takes a lot out of you to run and to be sharp. These are the type of elements and things that you need to be working on. So that when you get tired you can recover quickly. Every pass is new, you stay sharp, you stay focused, and most important, you stay energetic and vibrant. I'll try that again and let's see if I can apply a little bit more energy. Apologies for the win. Hopefully I can hit four out of four. That's what we're gonna go for. Let's have a look. That's what the ball would normally be like. It's slippery, like a bar of soap. Fingertips, not too hard of a grip. Fingertips when we pass it, okay? Can do that. It's good to develop consistency. A lot of times we don't want to do this because we end up getting frustrated and we're not learning. Me personally, in this area here, I will already pick out three things that I've learned from it. Sometimes I apply so much pressure on myself, I want to get it right. But it's not always about getting it right first, it's about getting information. Get the information about what are you doing. Okay, and when you're hitting a target, what did I, what, what just happened? How did I manage to do that? And when you don't hit a target and, you, and that's consistent, fire, fire out maybe three things on a sheet. I feel like this when I'm doing that and I'm getting this result and I feel like this when I'm not hitting any results. And that way you can identify your strengths and weaknesses and you can minimize the time you spend in this type of weather. That's why no one wants to do extras. I would like to encourage you, do extras. Tame, like I said, tame the devil inside of you. Until it becomes easy. Pass until it becomes easy. Run until it becomes easy. Make it a good habit and make it a great day. Hopefully this video helps you. And thanks for the support. Like, subscribe and share. See you next time.